congratulations on your player of the month award. How does it feel today to recognize? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a big thing for me and uh, especially if the short, like after this short period I'm here at Rangers and um, first of all I have to thank to all my teammates, to all the staff who yeah, helped me to, to come to this uh, point now to get this award, of course, uh, to my <laughs> fiance and family as well, to that everybody yeah, prepare me on the best possible way that I can uh, focus uh, on the most important things, it's to play and uh, to score goals and yeah, I think uh, it's a big award for me and uh, it means a lot to me. But um, yeah, this uh, makes and mo motivates me for more to get more of these awards. Is it motivate you to get more awards? Well, now the campaign is over. How important is it for you and the team as a whole to kick on domestically? Yeah, we have now three games uh, left before the World Cup, and um, yeah. We have three trophies to win in this season and now in the last three games we want to get out the maximum points. We want yeah, to continue the same way like we played against Aberdeen and this is, must be in every game our standard to perform on the highest possible way and, yeah, and this is what we focus on now. Thank you, Ryan, for your congratulations on your awards. Um, I wonder if you could maybe describe why you think you've started so strongly in Scotland? I mean... Um, yeah, we are Rangers. Uh, we we have to uh, perform on that level, and these are our ambitions. You know, we we want to yeah play on with uh, every opponent uh, on the best possible way because we have to prepare always um, different, and um, this is what the staffs are doing really well before every game. And I think yeah, now the last three games we have to continue like this, and we just have to be dominant and to play and focus on our game and not to look on uh, other teams. I'm sure one of the attractions for you coming to the Rangers was to, to play in the Champions League group. Obviously, we all know it's been a, a bit of a test. What has the impact been on your teammates and you in the dressing room of the whole experience? Yeah, I mean, um, as I mentioned before, I came to. Uh, yeah, already a group who knows each other really for a long time and had uh, yeah, won trophies together, we came to the Europa League final and this meant that this is a group who's yeah, working uh, really good together and has a good um, yeah, communication and good relation everybody and I just came like a small piece. Uh, I had to adapt really, really fast and good into this group and uh, it helped me a lot that yeah, everybody was so kind and helped me uh, so much and that I just had to focus on, t on training good, working hard and scoring goals. So um, this was all my thing and of course me as a person, as a character, uh, I like always, yeah, as I said, uh, to be positive, to help uh, other guys as well, even though I'm um, a new player here and um, yeah, everybody made it really easy for me. Antonio, again, congratulations on your award. Also, you know, recently in the preliminary score from Croatia at the World Cup. How much are you looking forward to continuing your good form this season and hopefully making the final score for your country? Yeah, this was a big target. Um, also, before I came uh, to Rangers, uh, it knew, I knew that uh, only over my games in the, in the club uh, I can uh, reach this um, also, like a big target for me. And yeah, now it's really close. Now I was in the yeah, preliminary squad and um, next week uh, we will know if I go or not. But um, yeah, it's already, already a big honor to be there. Uh, I try, yeah. To, to give every day and every game uh, everything and I hope then that the national team coach will recognize it. Yeah, and just as well for me, you settled in obviously really well with the Scottish football with just the 14 goals. What's the biggest thing you've noticed about playing in this country, particularly against teams like St. Johnson for Rangers? Yeah, it's uh, really tough for me as a striker because normally there are always three centre-backs uh, trying uh, to avoid that I'm scoring, trying to, yeah, making a lot of duels with me and, yeah, sometimes it's really tough, but, um, yeah, I try always to, to think one step uh, in front, the, the centre-back and, um, yeah, to, to take advantage of some uh, situations and then if I get the chance I have to score it and sometimes you get more, sometimes less, but uh, I always try to, to score them.
Antonio, you said that it was a big target for you to try and get in the World Cup squad. What would it mean to you if you did make the, the final group? If I didn't or if I did? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, to represent your country uh, on a, such a big tournament, uh, I think it's one of the biggest things you can uh, achieve as a footballer. And um, yeah, I, throughout my career as a young boy, I had some uh, targets like playing Champions League, like um, hear the, the anthem before the game, playing for the national team. And one of them is also like to play on a big tournament. And now I'm really close and um, yeah, I don't know if it's now on me or not, but uh, the coach will decide what's the best for, for Croatia or for the team. And I hope I can uh, be a part of it because it would be a, like, a, a wish, like a dream come true for me. Has the coach said anything to you in terms of how he's monitored your progress since you moved to Scotland? Um, to be honest, not that much, but uh, I know like from the assistant coaches, from the anal analysts that uh, yeah, they're following me, they're following, of course, Borna, Juranovic, you know, um, they have, uh, yeah, they're looking for other players and uh, over, or also they um, saw my development now here and how I, how I continue uh, my my good run and my my goals and everything. So they know what they will get with me. So um, yeah, it will not be a surprise um, with me. Like as a player, they know what what qualities I have, and uh, yeah, I hope I can make it. How did they announce the squad? Is it by telephone call or is it by text message? I was never so close to in front of a, <laughs> a tournament like that. Now I mean for. Uh, I think next Wednesday will be for sure a press conference and then they will announce it. You will be checking your phone before that? Yeah, I will ask the coach if I can take my phone to the training. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, No, we'll see. I don't know which times it will be. So uh, I just know it will be on the 9th of November. That's how you're top scorer in the league at the moment, just been named player of the month. Is being top scorer and winning the Golden Boot at the end of the season a big personal aim for you? Yes, of course. Um, yeah, domestic wise, I did. I got it once in Croatia with 20 goals, and I know how hard it is uh, to to achieve it. And um, now I had a good start, and um, yeah, for me as a striker, it's a big uh, yeah big thing to to win the golden boot because uh, every striker wants to have it like this. It's for me as a kid when I played the small tournaments, I wanted to be the golden boot winner, and it's now the same. You know, I'm always hungry for that, and I. I I'm hungry for trophies, and uh, is it like personally or with the team? Uh, I hope, uh, yeah, we can win it all. Did you always expect to be competing for the Golden Boot? Because when you arrived, you know there was going to be competition with Alfredo up top. Not too many Rangers fans knew exactly who you were, knew what you were about. But did you always believe that you could, obviously you've not done it yet, but be right up there at the top of the scoring charts? Yes, of course. I mean. Um, you know, if you set high targets and, uh, and uh, you work hard for it, then uh, you can get to yeah another another level, another step, and uh, this makes me also better as a, as a player, as a striker, and as a person. So um, it's not uh, a surprise for me, maybe for other people, but uh, I work every hard, uh, every day hard for it to to achieve uh, really big uh, targets and goals. You've been having a good battle with Alfredo for the, the main striking position. He's out of contract in the summer. Do you hope that he stays and <coughs> we deal with him? Yeah, I mean, as uh, what he showed in the past, uh, it, uh, it was yeah. He scored so many goals. He helped the club uh, to achieve big things, and uh, to have players like this in the squad is always important. And we we need to be competitive. Uh, we need to always. Uh, a lot of uh, strikers, a lot of players in every posi position you see now with the team, like how many injured players we got and uh, this means a lot to, to, to be competitive in the Champions League, in the league, in the cup and this is what we want when we want to play on the highest level and this means also you need players like Alfredo uh, in the team and of course uh, it would be important for a team like Rangers to, to keep a player like that but yeah, I cannot <laughs> decide that but um, for me as a striker of course uh, on every position, you need uh, competitive players. And so now that's your um, European uh, campaign over the <coughs> season. How's the mood in the dressing room after that, that during the week? And does, is there a sense that it actually helps you maybe focus on the league campaign and clawing back the the gap on Celtic? Yeah, I mean, um, we we said it from the beginning, from the start. We we have. 
three domestic trophies we can win and we want to take out the maximum and uh, of course it was hard now um, the, the period in the uh, Champions League but we played before I don't know before we qualify for the Champions League against PSV against um, Union who are playing now Europa League we're also qualifying now for the next round and we show our quality we are a big team we can uh, compete and unfortunately yeah it was now um, yeah, not so successful now the group stage for us, but um, we have to take it with us to to make it better next year. And uh, now, of course, we can focus of uh, on the domestic games, uh, what we always or where we always want to take out the maximum. And I think, um, yeah, it can be also good for us. How was it mentally for you? You know, it felt like in domestically you maybe get some momentum up, you get a few wins, and then there would be a heavy defeat. You know, was that difficult for the players that? Is there a danger that the European results actually could do damage to the domestic campaign? Yeah, I mean, for me personally, I hate losing, so um, of course it affects you. Uh, I mean, for the other players, it's the same, you know, you, you always play to win, and if you get the lose, then of course you think about it. Every player is different for me, maybe the evening and uh, one day after, but then you have to focus already on the next one. and. This I, I try to manage quite well and I think the boys as well, so um, we, um, yeah, I think now you, if you're going up and down, it's always difficult to always get up again, you know, so um, we want to keep the high now, to stay there, to take the momentum, to take, um, yeah, this winning feeling again week by week and uh, I think this uh, will help the, the team, you know, and, and to, or of course the whole club with the fans. And Zoni, you spoke about the Aberdeen, uh, not only the result, but the performance there. Why do you think it's taken to this time of the season for you to have a performance that, that is that benchmark? And how do you make sure for the three games going forward that, that you get that performance uh, as well as the result? Yeah, I think, I think um, it's... We always try to play on the best possible way. Sometimes, uh, you know, every team is different uh, and it's playing also different. You prepare different for, for all the games and... Um, Aberdeen, yeah, it was also not easy to get back after 1 0, what we conceded, and, uh, but we showed um, yeah, our style of play, our uh, runnings, and all this um, power we had with the fans. And uh, the fans, of course, helped us a lot in this game as well. So um, I think it didn't take us so long. We had games as well before uh, where we played really well. So, yeah, I don't know the second question, I forgot. How, how do you make sure that you, know, you retain that performance level so that when you go into the international break there's a good feeling about the club and, and the support? Yeah, I mean, um, in every game uh, you have to keep the intensity and uh, the intensity is uh, the clue, uh, the first step uh, to, to make a successful game and um, this is the most important thing. We have to be intense, we have to be in the duels, especially in the Scottish League, it's the most important thing. Um, to to show yeah who's the man on the pitch and um, this is the first thing we have to do it doesn't matter is it an away game or at home at Ibrox and um, yeah we have to just uh, focus on that and then focus on our game because we have the uh, yeah high quality on the ball always and to convert chances we got and uh, I think even against Aberdeen we won 4-1 but we could have scored more goals and um, you always have to look what you can improve and uh, to make a next step in every game.